step in the right direction. That's what many people are saying after the guilty verdict in the Derek Chauvin trial. Chauvin is the former Minneapolis officer now convicted on all three counts against him in the death of George Floyd. He faces up to 40 years in prison when his sentencing begins in about eight weeks. After the verdict, things in North Texas remained peaceful. Many local leaders agree the jury's decision had a lot to do with that. Nicole is live at Dallas Police Headquarters this morning. And Nicole, the department was prepared either way, right? They absolutely were, Karen. In fact, the barricades that were up all night long are just now being taken away. But local civil rights leaders say this trial points to a lot of growth departments like this one are seeing within the force. This verdict was a verdict for law enforcement, good law enforcement officers who are afraid to speak up and speak out because they will have some retaliation against them. They say that is indicative of the officers who testified against Derek Chauvin and those who spoke out contrary to his actions and claims of what Chauvin's defense team says he learned in training. UT Arlington criminology professor says he isn't surprised by the verdict and this George Floyd case deserves all the attention it has gotten. Police officers need to learn to behave more like guardians and less like warriors when they are patrolling minority neighborhoods. To me, that's a takeaway and that's a lesson learned. And I, 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 I am hopeful, quite frankly, uh, that this verdict uh, will reignite discussions about how we can reimagine policing in, in America. And of course, North Texas will have its own upcoming trial that is sure to capture national spotlight. And of course, that is the trial of uh, Aaron Dean, former Fort Worth police officer who was indicted for murdering a Tatiana Jefferson. That trial is set tentatively for August. And now we're live in front of DPD headquarters this morning. Nicole Jacobs, Karen, back to you. All right, Nicole, thank you very much.